This is the effect that we had a look at recording and saving as a slide style in the downloadable video. But what we're going to take a look at doing now is managing slide styles themselves. We're going to drop down to where the slide style was uh, actually applied and that's in slide number one. Clicking on this opens the slide option dialog box. We need to go to slide, making sure we're on the slide style dialog. Right, dropping down here, you'll see under the various bits and pieces, we've got all categories, we can come down, we can just take a look through here, for all the bits and pieces going on there. But you can narrow it down, if you want to just have a look at basic montages, from the drop down menu, you can select just the basic montage. If you take a look at this, you can have all ratios, in other words, this is showing the 16 by 9s and the 4 by 3s, or you can choose the one that you want to search for. The same for the number of layers, you can have any layers, or you can match slide so you then come in and you can you know, see you can narrow it down even further. Let's leave that set on all ratios, all layers, and bringing it back to all styles. Clicking on manage styles opens this dialog box. Come into all categories again. I'm going to drop down and come to my own slide styles. Going to come down to the five uh, slide twist here. But what we can do now is we can actually come into this. Let's click edit. We can come into it. You can rename it. You can select a different category for it, for example, if you wanted to put it under basic montage, complex montage, whatever else you so desire, you can choose to change it there. And the four slide twist, one center zoom is just a brief description. Coming down further, you've got the aspect ratio. This style can be used with any aspect ratio. The box is ticked. If you untick that, it will only apply it to the way that you recorded it. In other words, 4 by 3, 16 by 9. Let's click OK by that, or even custom, I hasten to add. Clicking on hide, you won't see it. So it won't show in the slide style list. Untick it, and you can see it. Let's click OK. Next, let's come down and have a look at exporting it. You might want to sort of save it somewhere else. So we're going to click on export. We're going to save it to my desktop. We're going to call it uh, four twist one zoom. Something just a bit different. And we're going to click save to that. That's now been successfully exported. You can also choose to remove it by clicking on the remove button. That's now gone. Clicking done, you'll notice it disappears from the list there. But we can re-import slides as well by coming into the, or should I say slide styles, by coming and clicking on the manage styles, coming to import, navigate your way to, the, to where they actually are. That's the one we've just created. We're going to click open. This is now going to bring it in there it is there and we're going to click done you'll notice it comes back into it uh, like that and if we come up you'll see it's there it is five layers any sort of ratio best time in six seconds and you can publish by whatever on the top there as well so once you've done that you can click ok and there you are you're up and running let's just take a look this is uh, as i say this is what we looked at created in the downloadable video you'll find full details of that on my website and talking to my website here it is. If you want to pop along, there's the main website. There's a whole load even of online videos, as well as downloadable Photoshop videos, as well as the Pro Show Gold and Pro Show Producer. Just clicking on the flyout menu there, and there they all are. So please pop along, take a look, and until the next time, happy imaging, and take care.